here on Home Improvement How To's. Today we're going to be doing a tape test and see which tape performs best when it comes to the paint bleeding through the tape. Which one blocks the paint from bleeding. I've got multiple different tapes up here that we're going to be putting up here and I'm going to show you the process. I'm going to be painting over it with um, Paint, paint, paint and over it with cashmere. The walls themselves are um, kind of a maybe a semi rough wall. They're uh, orange peel texture. And that's pretty common up here where we're at. I would say probably 60 to 70% of the homes have an orange peel texture. Another very common texture is Sun Valley texture. And it's very rare that we see smooth wall textures. So this tape test is gonna be performed on a um, kind of a semi rough uh, orange peel texture. Walls have been painted multiple times. I'm going to be applying frog tape sensitive right here, X Fasten tape right here, 3M 2020 here, 3M 2093 EL, 3M 2080 EL, frog tape regular, Tessa tape precision mask 4439, Tessa tape precision mask 4434, Tessa PM sensitive 4333, and then Tessa. 4323 three, right there. So that's the variety of tapes that we'll be testing. We'll be putting them up and then I'm just gonna roll right over the top of the tape, two strokes, and then we're gonna peel off the tape and we're gonna see which one performs better. Numbers one, two, and three. And it's gonna be just as simple as that. A very simple test to see which tape performs better. And then you can just use that information to decide whether you wanna use the tape or not. So here we go, stay tuned. Don't forget we're on Instagram, Idaho Painters, Facebook, The Idaho Painter, and we got a website, theidahopainter.com, where we sell our shirts, hats, and stickers, all of our paint life gear, and some of the tools that we really um, use a lot and that we think they're real game changers when it comes to painting. So here we go, let's um, get, to get it on with this tape test. Okay, now I got all my tapes up here. Right before rolling my paint over them, I'm gonna give them a nice good press and try to press them evenly so they all can perform, you know, like they should with the same control measures. Obviously, I don't have any device to determine how hard I'm press pressing or anything, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Um, we've got the Tessa tape. None of these have any type of chemicals on them that swell. The frog tape does have a chemical on the outside of the tape from what I've been told that swells. The, the two 3M products right here, the 2080 and the 2093 have a product on the entire surface of the tape that swells. And so when it gets uh, moisture on it, the rest of the tapes, um, they don't. This, uh, this tape has a really thin paper to it, which makes it so it forms, you know, over the surface, like a rough surface better. Um, and then I don't know anything about the x fasten tape. They just sent me, you know, a bunch of it in the mail. If you have a huge couple of huge cases and then frog tape sensitive, that's for sensitive surfaces like going over wallpaper, frog tape regular. Um, you've got the, the sensitive and not sensitive of the 3M product. And then we've got Tessa tape, we've got Tessa tape. This is sensitive like wallpaper. Precision mask is for interiors um, and this is for exteriors. So the exterior products are UV resistant and they'll stay outside in the sun and the weather longer. Other cheaper tapes will, the, the adhesive will begin to dry and adhere to the surface and then they'll splinter real easy. So um, 3M 2020 is the tape that we use the most of. It's our, um, our bulk tape that we probably use 90% of the time. So now I'm gonna just you know, press on both sides of the tape, get it stuck there evenly. The sensitive tapes have a tendency to you know, come off pretty fast. But if we're trying to get a really straight line, this is you know, the exact process we would go through pressing our tape down. So I'm you know, pressing it down. And now I'm going to begin applying our paint. And once again, this is kind of a, a thinner product. Um, it's a product from Sherwin Williams called Cashmere. So I'm just going to do two rolls over each one. And I'm just going to put a light amount of pressure. And 
and then we'll see which one performs the best. Then you can decide which one you want to use. So I'm putting a pretty good heavy coat of paint on here to try to, you know, cover one coat like we were putting a final coat on a wall, doing it real heavy. Now I'm just gonna begin peeling these off. So far, frog tape right here is performed the best. One of the things I've heard about the Tessa tape is it's a really thin tape. And so when you roll over it with a nice good heavy coat of paint, it doesn't um, create dams. So it doesn't create like um, where the paint ends of the tape, it doesn't create like this wall or dam. So um, if you go to repaint your walls, you're less likely to see where your tape was. So now I've got them pulled, I got all of my tapes pulled off here and I'm looking at them, you know, right here, that's not bad right here. Um, that's, there's quite a bit of, um, quite a bit there, quite a bit up top here. This tape is pretty good here, the 4439. Um, that's not bad, that's, I would, um, the frog tape, that very, very little came through right there. Um, this one had quite a bit. The 3M2020, which is our cheap production tape, um, quite amazingly has hardly anything coming through. Uh, this tape right here, that's the x fasten not too bad. There you go. So I'm going to say the clear winner out of all these three is Frog Tape is clearly the winner. I would say, kind of interestingly, because most of all these other tapes, this tape is like a dollar twenty a roll. A lot of these other tapes are up to six dollars a roll, like frog tape. So I'm kind of shocked this one has performed extremely well. I think the 3M 2020 in this situation um, versus we were in another uh, room in there that we just performed the same test twice, and um, 3M 3M 2020 wasn't in the top three. Here the wall is smoother and it is number two. Frog tape is number one. 3M 2020 number two. And I'm going to say um, number three will be, I'm going to say Tessitate Tessit 4323. Now I'm going to have another opinion. Come show us up and tell me which three you think is the best out of all these three. Because we want to hear somebody else's opinion besides my opinion that might be slightly biased. This one's so far good. So she's picked frog tape as being number one. I think frog tape and these two. Well, when the, the next one, the, the next one that's first really hard and is second. first and second is clearly frog tape and 3M 2020. What yeah. would you pick as the third place? That's the hard one. So look around and see what one you think is third because they are all pretty close. So she picked the same three as I did, so there you have it. So um, let's make this legitimate and make it fair for everybody. We're going to press this thing down. And um, since John has gloves and I don't, I'll be the one to press them down. Oh. We don't, they, <laughs> Sorry. we got to take care of every control measure <laughs> here that we can. So um, I'm going to press them down. And then John's just going to roll right over the face of the tape. And John, um, I know we don't have like a gauge to tell how much pressure you're putting and I know we got some criticism because mm -hmm. you know foot pounds per square inch and stuff like that. I mean, John, you're really going to have to just, you know, give, I'm a, I'm a give machine. it your best. I will do and, my um, best and just really work on that. We're John. just having fun, guys. Okay. <laughs> so here we Ready? go. Ready? So you did two rolls on that one. We'll do two on every one. We got it. About, and I would probably go the same distance too, just because somebody might say something. <laughs> I can do that. And then we're just going to peel them off. And now let's take a time out and press them down. Ow, that just burned my finger. Because <laughs> you're going um, so fast. Don't move so fast. Good tip. 
John's doing good, keeping a nice even coat on there. They look all even to me. And then um, here, as soon as you get some, you can just go right across and really um, give them a good look at it up close. One more. One more, everybody. Go time. I did make, um, guess I made a new sticker um, last night, Paint Life Mafia. Oh. And it's a really cool sticker. <laughs> I think I better peel because that'll be another one of those things that they'll say that if John peeled, he did it, you know, maybe he peels faster than I do or slower. So I'll try to be consistent and peel the same. And we're just going to see who's um, is the best. And, you know, you just never know. Oh, that looked pretty good for just a standard tape. I think they're all looking... Pretty dang close to the same to me. Oh, that one so far is the best. Raw tape's winning. Um, that one's not. They're all bleeding pretty good. And this is probably you know one of the worst case scenarios because you know it is um, you know like I say it's orange peel texture. We'll do another and we'll add. We'll try to find a smooth wall and try to compare it smooth wall or we can do it on a door or something and I'm looking at it and John which one do you think is the winner you know frog tape's two for two right now for me yeah. frog tape is two for two so we did a quick test in another job site real fast in um, a different type of it was Kind of the same orange field texture, but I think it was a it was a knockdown texture. Yeah, it was definitely a little heavier than what we've got. It was here. heavier than this, so now frog tape has won twice. On That's the tape test. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Would please consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, don't forget we're on Instagram, Idaho Painters. Facebook is the Idaho Painter. Our website where you can purchase our Paint Life gear, shirts, hats, and stickers theidahopainter.com. We get a live show every Monday night, 7 p.m. and Thursday night as um, is noon. So check us there on our live show on YouTube. Anyways, we'll see you on our next video. Out.